okay so let's take a look at how you can install azure cache for redis on your azure cloud so basically we are going to create one instance of redis right so for those who have no idea how redis works and what it is we can take a look at their official site to give you an idea what redis is so if you go to redis.io you will find the official site basically it is in memory data store so as you can see you can use that for small data operations like let's say keeping the leaderboard score or using it for storing some of the simple information like in games or in some of the in browser tasks etc a lot of use cases are there depending on how you choose to use them right so basically there is one option for deploying this redis server on azure cloud as well because microsoft's investment into this particular database you will find that it has support on azure as well right usually the download options are listed here and if you have linux and mac stack you will be easily try this on your desktop as well now in our case we are on azure so we need to find a way to install that right so we click on our azure services and then we get the list of services here right as you can see all these services now let's click on databases okay good enough now the next thing is clicking on redis cache so Azure Cache for Redis, you can find it under database. Click on that. Right. Once you go to this particular page, you will notice that there is nothing for you to view. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you will have to set things up by clicking on create. So it should open a new page for you where you will be able to choose the configuration according to your requirement right and then from there you will be able to access redis right now here you can see the project details i will go with my free trial then resource group i can create new or simply attach to existing resource group right next is dns name so let's say uh, you have to name your instance so let's say devnami redis so devnami dot redis dot cache dot windows dot net that would be one long name we get right now then comes the location part so i'm sticking with the default that is offered to me right then comes the cache type currently i have like one gb of cache and replication option so if you check the list you have all the list here you can choose between basic c0 250 mb cache no sla right that is also option so considering the price you will notice that from basic all the way to the enterprise the price would vary so we will take a look at full pricing details here on the right you will find this drawer coming up and here you have option for choosing those pricing tiers all of them look like enterprise and premium but we will scroll down to check the standard tier as well so c0 basic you can see the most cheaper one c0 basic c1 basic c2 basic right and so on so the most basic you can come up with is 250 mb cache no sla and so on so you can use this basic one right so currently we are given 1 gb by system based on our uh, trial right so it is recommending this standard tier so i'm going with basic because i don't want to put much burden on the financial side because it's just a test server and i'll be removing it as it is right so apart from that i will just click on review and create 
and once we do that it will give me the option to review all the possible details like say I have this networking where I have public endpoint right so this is the connectivity type I can choose public endpoint or private endpoint so if there are any admin tools like say table plus or maybe tools like navigate right hopefully they too accept the redis but as far as i know redis is accepted in table plus so you can uh, use endpoint on such tools as well then comes advanced here you see non tls port can enable or disable and currently the version is locked at 6 so you can't use the previous LTS or anything future so in your case it could be in near future version 8 or 10 so it's all up to you to choose the LTS version or the version offered by Azure right now comes the tax part I usually don't tag much because uh, I tend to destroy the instance after my use is over right so i don't use tag in that case however if you are working for some enterprise or small business and you want to use the tags for categorizing your resources and then calling them then best option is to use the tags right now comes the review and create option so as you can see we have selected retail c0 basic then our resource group subscription then non tls port disabled and finally the redis version so we are pretty much on track and now i can click on create so this is the most basic uh, redis server you can deploy with 250 mb of cache and the possible version we can get is 6 so let the Redis deployment continue and now you can see the deployment is complete it will take a bit of time in my case it took more than 15 or so minutes and now I'm going to check the resource now here you see everything related to your instance like running instances 250 MB ports access keys then you have like your host name right then you can even check your settings related to access keys right as you can see primary secondary and all the keys here then advanced settings you will find right here you can see you can access the ports via SSL then non SSL ports disable 6380 is your port right and you will also find TLS version set to default then minimum maximum memory reserved then there is also cluster options cluster size and here you can see the feature is restricted to premium tier and we have selected the most basic tier here then let's take a look at data persistence okay like i said some of the features are reserved for the premium tier and we can see what else we can access so here you see system assigned identity you can also check the user assigned one here you can add the user within the group and subscription right then apart from this we can also take a look at overview where we have this console right? clicking on it should give you access to redis immediately right so there are three commands i would like to show you now first being typical ping so every redis user or developer is going to show you this command when you type ping it returns with pong right and let's say if i echo something like say my company name devnami and it will return with that similarly if i want to get the info of entire instance i can type in info and hit enter 
and I will get all the information related to keys, stats, memory, clients, server, etc. All of that, as you can see, is listed here, right? And you can access through this particular console, right? So these are three commands that I have covered. You can explore this on your own with additional set of commands where you can create your typical list then set then keys right set and get methods to access them right you can explore further with microsoft azure's redis cache